Okay, step promoter. So, go into it. You can grab this from the Potential Pro Community Solutions. Doesn't look like it's a very complex program. And we've got the Portenta here. We've got a stepper driver from Pololu. Uh, the wires, if you don't get this one, maybe different colors, so that may change things around a little bit. Um, and here's the uh, Pololu uh, stepper motor. Notice uh, the little plus sign back at the bottom. That's definitely the bottom part of it. Um, on my maker page, we've got this. You can open it up, and there it is. That's the stepper motor. This is the Portenta. We only have four wires coming from the Portenta, but we have quite a bit coming from the right-hand side, this side. Um, I think it is a little easier to work with uh, when the portentas are like that. So uh, the positive and the negative. Ooh, don't forget this little capacitor there. I'm going to have to hook that up. Then all the wires, then 3v3 and ground. Um, I'm going to pause for a bit. Okay, let's go through it. We've got the positive from the battery to the top location right there the ground from the battery to the top location. The 100 microfaraday, I just plopped it in between those, is what I like about these snap circuits. Uh, then just blue, red, black, green. Those blue, red, black, green, we're good. And then from 3v3, which is the third one down here, to 3v3 and ground below it to ground. And then the only control stuff is D3 to the top one here, D3 to the top one there, and D2, which is just above it, to the bottom one there. Um, all looks good, fire up the Portenta. Um, okay, uh, let's go here, check your port. Port's correct, it is the M7. Uh, flash it, I don't need to save it, and I'm going to, oh, talk about it. Um, D2 and D3 are outputs, so pin mode in the setup. And then, uh, looks like I don't have any LEDs going on, so either it works or it doesn't. Uh, digital write D2, zero, uh, so it's picking a direction. Uh, digital write D3, one, which is moving a step, it's delaying three microseconds and then it's resetting it. So one and zero, so you gotta kind of pulse D3. And, uh, and it's just looping through this. Notice our delays are really quick, so it's going pretty quickly. You could use microsecond delay to make it go much faster, and that would be something that maybe a student could do um, just to see how things work. Uh, I'm gonna pause. So here we go. Uh, it's just turning really slowly in one direction. As I say, there is a faster delay, delay microseconds, which would speed it up. You can also change the direction, and that's what you should be doing with your own projects is adjust this for something you want it to do. But that stepper motor is working, um, and all looks good.